here at Explore Park where I'm joined by Doug Blunt, Director of Parks, Recreation and Tourism, and Greg Martin, our Outdoor Services Manager. And there's a lot to talk about because big things are coming to Explore Park over the next couple of years. First, Doug, let's backtrack a little bit. Uh, over the past few months, Roanoke County has been putting out requests for proposal to build some adventure recreation amenities here at Explore. How's that been going? We've been really excited with the response that we've gotten from our RFPs. We did receive uh, six RFPs uh, to provide uh, a series of different uh, services as well as programs and special events here at Explore Park and we're right now working towards awarding five contracts uh -huh. uh, to outside agencies and private firms uh, for development and different programs and activities at the park. So we're well on our way to being able to implement the first phase of the adventure plan at Explore Park and having some wonderful new partners to help us with that. So stay tuned at uh, explorepark.org slash adventure plan. You can get news updates throughout the fall because we hope to have some uh, more official announcements about some of these vendors that you're talking about uh, as the months progress going into uh, October, November timeframe this fall. So Doug, can you talk a little bit more uh, generally about what types of amenities uh, we may be seeing here in the next two years? Well, we definitely want to have uh, overnight accommodations. We want to be able to offer cabins, uh, different type of uh, primitive camping. Mm -hmm. We want to have an aerial adventure course, additional retail and food and beverage mm -hmm. uh, services here at the park. Uh, but we also want to create uh, Explore Park as a venue to be able to host large special events, uh, having different type of services, uh, recreation services that our visitors can take advantage of while they're here visiting the park. Mm -hmm. uh, and then just a series of new programs uh, to be able to continue to draw in all levels of activities uh, here at the park of, by, by different uh, ages and abilities. And speaking of programs, let's go over to Greg. Now, Greg, you've got to be excited about a lot of the changes that are going to be coming as somebody who's, whose job it is, is to program the outdoors. Absolutely. It's a great opportunity. Uh, so let's talk uh, about, in addition to things coming, what's going on this fall as we're ramping up for these new amenities? Sure. Uh, one of our big uh, projects this year is we're going to be the host uh, for the Association for Outdoor Recreation and Education, uh, their demo day site. Um, so on October 31st from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., it's a free event open to the public. There'll be food trucks. Uh, music, um, outdoor gear, retail mm -hmm. outfitters, uh, stand-up paddle boards, mountain bikes, um, climbing gear, all sorts of things for the general public to take advantage of, to uh -huh. try out, to get on the river with us, get on the trails with us. It's going to be a great time. Um, there's also some themed activities. We have a women's only trail ride starting at 1 and we mm -hmm. also have a uh, family friendly costume contest starting at 4 o'clock here as well. Sounds like fun. You can get more information on that at RoanokeCountyParks.com. Uh, there's another event. Roanoke County is a critical partner with uh, the city of Roanoke in, in putting on GoFest. Can you talk about that as well? Sure. Uh, the county will be at GoFest um, on October 13th, 14th, and 15th. Um, we'll be assisting with the pump track area, the climbing walls, the paddle zone. Um, and again, great opportunity regionally for folks to come out and meet a bunch of different outdoor vendors, a bunch of specialty activities, um, and to see what we're offering in the future. And speaking of that regional cooperation, one of the things you might see if you come out to GoFest is that right next to our booth for partnering with us is the National Park Service. Uh, Doug, can you talk a little bit about how uh, crucial it's been to work with the Park Service uh, in some of our development plans here? Well, the National Park Service and Blue Ridge Parkway is a very integral part of the success here at Explore Park. It's, uh, when you look across the country, there's not a lot of case studies of where you have a large regional park like Explore Park that links up directly with a national park. Now, the Blue Ridge Parkway is the most visited of all the national parks, and we want to be able to take advantage of those 15 million people that travel the Blue Ridge Parkway annually. Um, so being partners with them is very important. We want to have not just connectivity from uh, the road standpoint of the parkway coming into Explore Park, but also having trail connectivity Mm -hmm. of being able to link up with uh, equestrian services, uh, but also with mountain bikes mm -hmm. and pedestrian access. So you talk about access. Uh, access is one of the key focal areas as we work to develop this park. What are people going to see when they come out to the park, especially next spring and summer when things really get going out here? Well, we want to be able to begin working on the design of our mountain bike facilities and enhancement to our trails. We want to be able to add a skills park. So this upcoming winter, we will have a citizen engagement period uh, to where our citizens and stakeholders will be able to help to weigh in on what they want to see from a trail system here internally within the park, uh, but also what they want to see from a mountain bike standpoint. 
Uh, we also are going to be introducing in 2018 some new special events into the park with some new partners that will uh, help to uh, create a, you know, a variety of new activities that we haven't seen at the park uh, to date. Uh, and then we're also hoping to launch some new services like having different type of camping, equestrian services with trail riding, special events, lessons uh, revolving around horses. Mm -hmm. And we think that uh, adding all of these new activities will help to continue to enhance the experience that our users have here at Explore Park. Okay, now let's talk a little more about uh, about timeline. I know everything's not officially in place as to what the vend when the vendors will uh, officially sign the paperwork and all of that. But what's coming this spring? I know uh, disc golf is one of those things that we can we can tell you is going to be coming in the spring. Yeah, we'll be launching a disc golf course late spring, early summer. Uh, that will be at Mayflower Hills Park. That's a very exciting initiative that uh, I think is uh, going to be uh, a, a regionally known disc golf course just uh, from its aesthetics, uh, but also from levels of difficulty that it's going to provide to the users. And one of the best parts about the disc golf course is the partnerships with local enthusiasts to actually make it happen and to, to do the work along with Roanoke County. That's exactly right. It's just a great local uh, public-private partnership. Okay, and uh, so moving on from that, anything else we should look for this spring? Uh, we, I would expect that we would have uh, some level of overnight accommodations uh, that will be very new. I think that uh, uh, along with special events, uh, we will have some new programs uh, that will be opening up to, to the public and some additional food and beverage services uh, as well as retail services. And along with all those great outdoor amenities coming to Explore Park, uh, Roanoke County is going to continue to offer some fantastic programs such as Camp Roanoke, right Greg? That's right, Scott. We got our dates set and we'll have uh, brochures ready to go at GoFest and the general public should be able to, to register very soon after. All right, find out more about any of the programs or anything we talked about here today at RoanokeCountyParks.com.